What's up friends? Welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would kind of do a little grad school update. It's probably gonna be a vlog, I guess. Today is October 28th, so I think we're kind of like officially halfway through the semester, which is absolutely crazy to me. To be honest, I'm impressed that I've survived this long. But yeah, it's halfway through the semester. I finally feel like I have a week where I can kind of just like take a breath and focus on not a lot of things, but a couple things other than just school stuff. So I thought this would be kind of the perfect day, perfect week to do a little grad school vlog update for everyone, for anyone that's interested in this type of content. If you aren't, I'm sorry. And this is technically my second um, grad school vlog since beginning grad school this past semester. So if you are a lot more curious about like my program and what I'm doing, definitely check out that first vlog. I will link it down below because I don't want to be too repetitive in this video so I go over a lot of my program details and stuff there but just to quickly recap that um, I'm a first year grad student um, at the University of Delaware studying health promotion and my background is in nutrition but I did not obtain a dietetic credential or take the exam or do the internship or anything like that just strictly nutrition so I kind of got into health promotion so I can have like a more broader understanding of health because that's what is important to me that's what I'm interested in a couple more details on that later maybe some updates about what path I think I'm taking and just like how classes are going and all that is to come but right now I actually have a meeting with my advisor which I don't know why I started this video at the time that I did because I have to start that meeting really, really soon. So I will check in with you guys after that meeting. All right, guys, so I just finished my meeting. Actually, that's a lie. I didn't just finish my meeting. It's probably been about an hour, but a couple of different things have happened. I'm like on cloud nine right now because not that anyone cares, but I really care. My family just got access to my grandma's beloved, amazing roll recipe um, that my entire family obsesses over. And since we're not meeting for the holidays this year, we were able to get the recipe. So after 26 years of living, I feel like my life finally has purpose. <laughs> I know that sounds really dramatic, but anyway, I know that's not relevant to the vlog. Just a little update that there will probably be a grandma's rolls baking video coming at some point. Not gonna give her recipe away. Now that I have it, it's mine forever. So it is just about 11 o'clock right now. I'm kind of just trying to figure out what the rest of this video should be because since I'm one in grad school and only taking one class a day and two, I'm at home because pandemic, there's not too much moving around. I kind of just sit in this spot all day, every day. I feel like the vlog would be a lot more exciting if I was moving around and stuff, but, but this isn't like what I eat in a day or any other type of video. I'm not gonna include that type of stuff, any like morning or night routines or eating in this video. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Definitely always down to make a what I eat in a day video. Figured I would just start off and maybe just tell you guys kind of what the plan for the rest of the day is and then I like weave in some updates and type of information throughout the day. So every Wednesday I have a meeting with my advisor. Um, she acts as both my like class career planning advisor and then also my um, assistantship advisor and she also is one of my professors too so I interact with her a lot and we get along really well. If you're confused by me saying assistantship and you want to know more about that like I said before check out my last video but essentially I'm being paid to work with a professor in my department. So yeah we meet every week just to kind of catch up on the work that I've been doing for her. She can assign me new tasks and just kind of you know talk about life a little bit and I think I said in that last vlog that because it was still you know just like the first or second week of school that I wasn't totally sure what all I would be doing for her yet now that we're halfway through the semester I have done a lot of things for her I go over all the different types of assistantships my university offers in that last video so if you watch that you know that I'm just a like regular graduate assistant so I do a whole bunch of things for her a lot of her work right now involves um, doing like research and like program planning for the early Early child care and education area so so I've done a little bit of research for her just in terms of burnout and employee wellness for teachers in um, early child care centers and then also a couple different things with um, seeing how kids have been getting access to food and the ways that the pandemic has kind of impacted their nutritional needs and like food access and all that this week is actually kind of a slow week so I don't have too much to do right now so I'm kind of just doing I don't want to say busy work for her but I'm doing a little bit of research for something that isn't necessarily a project of hers, but it's the area she's interested in and hopes to one day like either do full-blown research in or create some sort of 
program so I'm just doing like very basic background research for that. She also invited me to sit in on a meeting with her at 1 30 in regards to another little project that she has going on. I know I keep just saying like research and projects and it's honestly just so hard to explain because I feel like I do a lot of just things in random areas for her but just know that I am enjoying it. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the update for my assistantship work. A quick little update about just like general school things. Like I said before, I'm taking three classes, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights. I each have one of the classes for three hours. I know I've mentioned this before in a handful of other school related videos, but I absolutely love being online, like pandemic or not. I think I would choose to be in school online. There's something about just like being able to have my own schedule and not have to worry about commuting anywhere. And if I'm having a bad day, I need to like take a mental health break and just like lay in bed for five minutes and do some deep breathing or, or just being able to like cook whatever meals I want, kind of whenever I want. And I don't know, just the flexibility of it is amazing. And I feel so bad that that's probably not the case for most people. A lot of people would prefer to be in person, but just for me, this situation has been working really well and I'm curious to see what happens with our classes in the spring. I have a feeling at least the grad students in my program will probably still be online. The university hasn't really said too much yet, so I don't know. Yeah, otherwise classes are going pretty well. I have had a couple of like really stressful weeks. I feel like a lot of people can probably relate to this whether you're in grad school or undergrad, even high school or middle school maybe, but I keep having situations where all three professors put like the biggest, most work intensive assignments all within the same week of each other. So it'll just be two weeks of like being relaxed, just I'm busy, but I'm not like overwhelmed. And then it'll just be a week of like getting absolutely destroyed emotionally and physically and mentally by having all these assignments do. So that's just been a lot. Luckily today is not one of those weeks, but I do have one of those weeks coming up in like two weeks. So I'm gonna try and prepare a little bit better than I did last time because last time was a little messy and mental health wise, I was not doing so great. And I'll probably tell you guys a little more about that later. Other than that, classes are really good. I'd say of the three, there's two that I kind of enjoy the other but nothing it's just like really nitpicky stuff that it's like if I were teaching this class I would do a lot of things differently but otherwise it just feels good to finally like be in a program that I am very interested in and it's nice to know that I am doing all this work and all these classes for a specific purpose so I guess I can't complain too much okay so enough talking your ear off basically for the rest of the day I kind of have things planned out in my planner if you know me you know that I like live by this thing I've said it before, if you guys ever want a video about how I plan my days and utilize my planner to its fullest potential, I could do a whole video about it, so I'm not gonna go over it right now. Like I said, I have that meeting at 1.30. So my plan for the rest of the day is to do my um, assignments that are due tomorrow because I always try and get my assignments due for a certain class done the day before and that way I'm not rushing to finish things. Um, that hasn't always happened, especially when it comes to papers and editing and stuff. Sometimes I am doing stuff up until the last like hour or two, but just for like tiny assignments and readings because there's so many readings. I always get that done a day or two ahead of time and then just worry about more future things on those days, if that makes sense. So I have a few assignments due tomorrow. I'm gonna get those done, hopefully pretty quickly. And then the only other thing that I really should do today is work um, for maybe about three hours. I have tried so hard to like make a good work schedule for myself since a lot of the stuff that I'm doing for my assistantship is research and it's kind of like my advisor gives me tasks and I can kind of do them on my own time besides a couple meetings a week scheduled. I'm not like, I need to be working from like nine to two and then I have class at night. It's literally, I can kind of do it whenever I want. So there's definitely been times where it's like Saturday or Sunday and I haven't hit my like 15 to 20 hours and I'm like struggling on Sunday when I should be relaxing to finish things. So that's happened the past couple weeks, but I'm hoping this week if I can get in at least three hours of work every single day, that will get me to 15 and then I can relax on the weekend because it's Halloween this weekend. So I don't wanna worry about anything else except for drinking pumpkin beer and eating candy and being dressed up and cute and all that stuff.
yes, I have CAD ears on, and yes, I've been wearing them for most of this week, and I just remember to take them off when I have meetings, so don't judge me, it's Halloween, whatever. Anyway, I just finished um, the assignments that I have to do for tomorrow, and I figured I'd actually kind of show you guys what I was doing because it's not too often that I have, like, small assignments other than reading most of my assignments and most of my classes are like larger projects or papers or videos or something so just to give an idea to anyone who is potentially interested in this program or a similar program or health coaching this might be exciting information or it may not be so i was just doing some work for my behavioral health strategies and tactics course i talked about this in my last vlog i believe and this is kind of like the intro ish to health coaching and so for basically this entire semester all of our our projects are revolving around this like the type of client we could potentially be working with in the future and this class has actually been really helpful for me and just kind of deciding what exactly I want to do with my life and not so much about like health coaching but just like and having to like plan out this client and you know we obviously had to like give descriptions of like the context that we're seeing the client in which would require us having an idea of what we want to do with our lives and what career path we want to be on. I seem to have found an interest in like a student wellness uh, like university student wellness type of area within health promotion so the client that I made her name is Eliza <laughs> last name is not Thornberry and pretty much the story I made for her has to do with being a freshman in college and she's a chemical engineer and works in a lab so she has a lot on her plate in terms of school and work so she's like extremely extremely stressed more stressed than she's ever experienced in her life which is really overwhelming which you know may lead to some like mental health type of issues uh down the road but we'll see what happens with her and then on top of that just like the typical like college freshman weight gain not exercising just feeling like really down and in the dumps so all the projects i've been doing for this class have been working with Eliza who doesn't really exist except for the video projects we have to do in which I interview Eliza as a health coach and my boyfriend has been playing the part of Eliza which has been really hilarious. So yeah just in that sense of kind of like getting my toes in the water and figuring out what I want to do with my degree this has been super helpful and super interesting and now I'm interested in potentially working in the field of student wellness at a university. I can possibly look at like internships maybe in this area or do research in this area to get better idea of if it's what I want to do but anyway we had like three just really small assignments due today it took me maybe like a half an hour to do all of these and it's pretty much just practicing like writing out our clients goals because in the last major assignment we did with them was a video project with our client interviewing them um, using specific interview styles I'm not going to get all into that but at the end of those interviews we're supposed to like elicit a commitment to some sort of like behavior change they want to make or some sort of goal they want to reach and now for this little assignment we're just practicing ways in which you could I guess like help the person stick to the plan you know by having an actual like written prescription or writing down a schedule or writing down notes and then you know trying to find out from them what exactly they want to do why they want to do it and how confident they feel in accomplishing this goal so let me just show you what all I did so this page is literally like a behavioral prescription so it looks like if you were to go to the doctor and they write you a prescription for medication except I wrote Eliza a prescription for obtaining her goal hopefully and working towards that left some additional comments and then over here was a referral form and I'll be completely honest with you I'm not exactly sure what all of this is for. There's a lot of pieces of these assignments in which sometimes I feel like my client, I don't want to say doesn't have enough issues, but a lot of other students in this class are, you know, acting in the role as dietitians and they're a health coach and also a dietitian and they have clients who have a lot of major health related issues and might need to be referred to another the type of healthcare professional for treatment. Whereas with Eliza and it just being, you know, stress and student wellness and me not having like a actual medical background that's not necessarily the case so I kind of just like randomly filled this out hopefully I'll get more information on that later the last one which kind of just like writing out from the perspective of your client what changes they want to make and why what the specific goals were people that could help them obstacles that they could face and again eliciting like that confidence from them so I apologize if that was kind of all over the place and didn't make too much sense obviously I'm still in the class and figuring things out as I go and learning a lot of really interesting and important things um, the world of health coaching as I've said before is still very new to me still not completely sure if it's something I do want to pursue especially since I don't have I do have a background in nutrition but you know I'm not a dietitian or I'm not a nurse I don't have like a actual full-blown medical background with credentials which is why in a way I feel like working in some sort of student wellness or employee wellness at a university would be really interesting and also I just know 
like thinking back to my seven years in undergrad <laughs> that I would have benefited from knowing a lot more of the stuff that I know now as someone who is really interested in nutrition and health and wellness and just kind of like overall well-being and steps you can take to and make yourself a better person and feel better and reduce stress and I feel like I would have had a whole different experience my first like three and a half years in school for my first degree because it was a rough time I'll say but yeah I'm getting really ranty now and talking too much it is 12 45 I think I might go make some lunch and then I'm gonna get ready for this meeting that I have at 1 30. I almost forgot I had this meeting I got caught up talking to my mom so I need to go do that right now and wow take these off that wouldn't look good uh, it's very nice to meet you. Alright, I'm back. So that meeting went pretty well. Um, just really short recap. My advisor and I pretty much just met with um, the person who's in charge of doing the dietetic internships at our university because we potentially would like to collab with her and some of her uh, community rotation interns on one of the small but many projects that uh, me and my advisor are working on. And I've just sat down to watch a couple of lecture videos because for my Wednesday classes, this professor who is the same as my advisor decided that she didn't want to teach virtually for three hours, which thank God, I don't want to listen to a lecture for three hours online. So she is substituting an hour of class time for half an hour of pre-recorded lectures. So I normally try and watch those um, like an hour or two for class starts. I like to do it right before class. So it's kind of like fresh in my mind and they're only maybe 20 or 30 minute long. So it doesn't take very long to watch. And I have changed location because I just can't sit at my desk all day. So I try and sit in this chair when I don't have a lot of like work intensive stuff to do where I might need two screens or I need to write stuff. So this is a good spot to read, good place to watch lectures. Sometimes I'll even move downstairs to our kitchen table or outside if the weather is nice, just to feel like I'm in a different area, but this will do for now. So as you can see, I have my laptop, I have the lectures, I have pen and paper in case I need to take notes because I prefer to take handwritten notes over typed notes whenever possible because I'm just that kind of person. So what are we learning about today? We are learning about validity and reliability when conducting research and creating a study and all that. So yeah, this is my research methods class. For this class, we actually have to put together our own hypothetical research study and come up with a survey measure. We're not actually going to conduct the research, but it's kind of to prepare us for our capstone of potentially doing a research project for a thesis down the road because we have a choice of doing research or an internship, which I'll probably talk more about later because that's something I've been slightly stressing over. I shouldn't be, but I am. So yeah, I'm just going to watch this lecture and I will check in later. All right, so I'm on a walk, clearly. I feel like I just had a lot of pent up energy for some reason. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that whenever I vlog or just make videos in general, I have a tendency to like rush myself way too much and for a lot of times no reason and then my adrenaline just gets pumping and I don't know. So that's where I'm at right now. I probably should be working. Like I said, I try to work three hours every day, most days, sometimes more, sometimes less. And with all my meetings I've had, that took up about an hour. So I'm gonna try and work at least two hours. Today, my advisor gave me a video to watch to like catch up on some projects and then I'll just be doing the research thing like I said before. So I do have some time before class to watch that video and then I guess I'll just do an hour of research tonight, which isn't ideal, but an hour is better than five hours, which has happened before. So yeah, I figured right now I'd take the time to kind of just talk about the, I, it's hard because I don't want to like claim to have any mental health issues because I'm not diagnosed with anything. I guess I've just been having these really odd and unusual new experiences. Um, that are happening somewhat more frequently. Like I've had them before over the past two years or so, but it's just been happening a lot more and now I'm a little more concerned about it. So I just wanted to talk about it. I'm still not used to vlogging in public. So hopefully I don't run into a lot of people. And also if I do, obviously I'll be crossing to the other side of the sidewalk. So I don't get too close to anyone because you want to social distance these days still. So honestly, it is a little hard to explain, especially because I don't know exactly what it is and I don't want to claim it's one thing over another or whatever. But I guess the best way that it makes sense to me when I try and like explain it to my boyfriend and I guess it's kind of like anxiety. But again, I'm not entirely sure. And I know that anxiety happens for so many people in so many different ways. And I just think it's anxiety rather than stress because whenever I get these feelings that I'll talk about in a second, it's like, it kind of comes out of nowhere and it's not tied necessarily to a specific event. Whereas I know with stress, it's like, 
it's a little more short term because you know you're stressed out about an exam or something you have to do whereas anxiety is just kind of like general it's not attached to anything it's just like a general worry about something i could be totally butchering all of this so i am i am very sorry so essentially i get these moments sometimes at its worst a couple weeks ago it lasted like a week and a half for pretty much most of the day even while i was sleeping and then like this week it happened on monday a little bit yesterday and like today i've been fine so it really a lot of it has to do with breathing like i'll get that feeling like i have a lump in my throat or something stuck but and i feel like a little bit of shortness of breath and i got a really irregular breathing pattern where i'll either take a really long inhale and a short exhale or a short inhale and a long exhale with a lot of like weird pauses in between and but it's weird though because if i do go to take like attempt to take a real full breath i can so it's not necessarily that i can't breathe so it's not covid <laughs> um but it's just really uncomfortable and then i get a little bit of like i guess you could say a panicky feeling sometimes and it gets worse if i have to go on to a zoom meeting so a couple of times that this has happened that i've just had to like have my camera off during class or a meeting because it's just it normally isn't a problem for me like i sit on zoom three hours a day multiple times a week with no problem but when this happens it's just like i get this feeling of anxiety panic where i just like i feel much better once i turn off the camera and then just sit and relax and like focus on my breathing while i listen yeah that's pretty much it like sometimes i'll get a little shaky sometimes i'll get a little lightheaded or get like a tunnel vision type of like, phenomena happen and sorry <laughs> i'm not even walking that fast but i'm out of breath for some reason yeah this will last pretty much all day will only subside if I do something to distract myself like going on walks or like exercise and I can still exercise on those days or if I'm like talking to my boyfriend on the phone like on Monday night when it happened I had a little extra time that night so I started knitting which I haven't done in a while and I realized afterwards I was like oh I'm breathing normal I don't feel these weird feelings but you know, it all happen when I sleep that one week and a half I got really bad like I could not sleep at all I just kept waking up and having really weird breathing patterns and yeah so if anyone has can relate to this or know what's going on please leave a comment down below if things do get a lot worse i might see if i can talk to like student counseling or student health services just to i don't know let someone know what's happening but again like i don't want to claim anything maybe it's eye anxiety maybe it's a panic attack maybe it's an anxiety attack maybe i just need to like chill out i'm not really sure so yeah um i don't think i mentioned this before earlier like i do have general stress but no more than i feel like any other grad student has and i guess you could say some of these moments happen when i feel more stressed out um on certain days compared to others but, like on monday this week like i said in the beginning of this video is one of the easiest weeks i've had in a while so for me to have those kind of panicky feelings weird breathing patterns shortness of breath dizziness happened on monday was a little confusing um yeah that's pretty much it i'm coming up to some kids and this is embarrassing i gotta go so i like low-key forgot that i was vlogging today pretty much all that's happened since the last time we spoke when i was on my walk was that i pretty much went home watched the video i said i was gonna watch class started at 4 30 we had a guest speaker for about an hour so then we only had about an hour of actual class content in which we just discussed our research projects that i kind of talked about before and that is pretty much it uh for the rest of the night i'm definitely just gonna relax i might try and work for a little bit more so i can get closer to hitting three hours but i know i'll have time to make up like extra working hours a little bit tomorrow and then again on friday yeah and then pretty much i'll just repeat this whole process tomorrow i don't have any meetings besides class so hopefully some of this content was interesting to a few of you like i said before i just kind of want to document my experience going through grad school specifically in a health promotion health and wellness related program just because it's like an up and coming um, area. Of course, I plan on making more videos like this in the future and maybe they'll probably be a little bit more structured where I talk about like specific aspects of my day or way that I do things or just kind of like a general day in my life uh, while doing school type of vlog. So if there's any suggestions you guys could have, please leave them down below. If you have any questions about anything at all, you can always reach out to me on Instagram. I'd be happy to talk to people, especially people who are interested in pursuing similar career paths. Otherwise, I am tired. I'm gonna lay in bed and do more work and I will see you guys in the next video.